Apostle Matthew, also known as Levi, son of Alphaeus, as mentioned in Mark chapter 2, verses 13, was one of the twelve apostles of Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ was preaching in Galilee, he saw the tax collector was none other than Matthew, sitting in his office. Jesus said to him, Follow me, Matthew, alias Levi, immediately got up and followed him without any second thought. During that time, tax collector was one of the most wild professions in ancient Judaism. Tax collectors were considered disgraceful in the eyes of Jews. Not only did they work for the Roman occupiers, they often cheated their countrymen. But Jesus not only calls Levi to his disciples, he eats at Levi's house with other tax collectors and sinners. The scribes would never share a meal with such a person for fear of becoming unclean questions Jesus' motives. Jesus responds with the famous, People who are well do not need a doctor, but only those who are sick. I have not come to call the respectable people, but sinners. Mark 2, Mark chapter 2, verses 17. The Gospel tells us that Matthew was one of Jesus' most powerful examples of the forgiveness God offers to everyone. The tax collector was reviled for who he was, but Jesus loved him for who he was. And despite his position as a religious outsider, Jesus gave him a prominent position. Matthew is considered one of the four evangelists. This is a title reserved for Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, the traditional authors of the four Gospels. It comes from the Greek word evangelist, meaning good news. These four writers proclaimed the good news of Jesus Christ with their writings. While Matthew is honored as a martyr, no one knows for sure where or how he died. Various accounts say that he was beheaded, stoned, burned, or stabbed. One even suggests he died of natural causes like John. Matthew is the patron saint of tax collectors and counters. The feast of St. Matthew is annually celebrated on September 21st. Thank you.